and obviously that was in 2020. Moving on to Beverly, just a year later, towards the back end of this season, you got on board Tis Marvellous in the 2021 Beverly Bullet, and you broke our track record. That must have been some feeling as you scorched clear up the Westwood Hill. Oh, it really was, and um, it, it just fond memories um, because we managed to, 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 to win the race twice, and it was just a lovely horse to ride, and um, lovely owners, um, Clive Cox, who was very good to me through my career as well. Um, so, yeah, to win, it was always, um, obviously being a Richard's Fires for so long, it was just a race that I couldn't quite get, you know, I'd been trying for so long and I think that was more relief as well mm. um, to, to actually win the race. So I'd been trying so long and um, so to actually uh, win it at Beverly, you know, one of the courses that I've been racing for so long at was, was very, very good. Mm. And Beverly Five Furlongs it is a different test to most horses and jockeys essentially. What is it like to ride over the Five Furlongs at Beverly? Uh, Beverly, it's not for the faint-hearted. Um, I think experience um, sets well there, um, and obviously I, I had a lot of it um, racing there so much. Um, but it, it takes a bit of knowing, it really does, and they can kind of get racing a bit too quickly. So I think if you could just hold your nerve, I mm. think is what I'm trying to say, and 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 just bide your time, that it, it, it can help a lot. But I've had so many good days at Beverly. You know, obviously being a local track, uh, being based in Moulton, um, which, which which was I enjoyed a lot. And obviously a year later with Tis Marvellous, you came back and won it for a second time. He was obviously kind of dazzling in the first one. In the second one, he really had to tough down and battle it out to beat RSC, but that just showed the horse had kind of so many strings to its bow. It really did. And, you know, I was so chuffed for the horse and, and, and everyone involved, because like you say, you know, he, he won fairly easy first time and second he really had to dig deep and it really showed his character um, you know so, so just so, just a, a grand old horse that, that tried his best the whole time mm. and uh, it was just a just a, a pleasure to be a play a part in a little bit of history there you know so it's never been done before mm. so it was great.